Hello friends and welcome. As we uh, been going along the last couple of months, we've learned quite a bit about how to do little electrics. It's about time for a semester exam, what do you say? We've learned a, quite a bit about how to tame this here laser. And so what I've chosen for my project, let's give you a little size comparison. There's my Tango 2. Let's uh, go even bigger. It's an old jumper T16. It gives you some idea of how large this is going to be. It uh, needs a 26cc. I don't have that in gas, but I do have it in electric. So I'm going to have some additional work, which will uh, go right along with uh, what we've been doing anyway. This is what I've chosen. Of course, link and everything will be down in the description. I've been wanting to do a biplane for a long time, and why not, uh, you know, go big or go home, right? So let's give this a whirl, and over the next few weeks, I'll be posting highlights. For right now, let's dig into the plans and uh, see what we're gonna need. Take a look at that fuselage. Uh, remember the video I did on splitting stuff apart without using print and cut. And he's already kind of got that done. So we're going to look into some of this stuff. Uh, looks to me like the cowling is all wood, but he doesn't really put, the, put that in the plans. So we may have to do some making up of our own on that. But let's go in and have a look-see at the plans and... Uh, see what we're facing here let's start off with what i've already got cut here and i'll show you just a few things uh first off my little square here i've got some 12 inch by 12 inch plywood and so i made me a 12 inch by 12 inch uh piece here and i did it under t2 you see by the color up here uh those are you use them as tool frames and see frames lit up but it outputs no power, and so it won't cut that part. Uh, we've done the same with other stuff where we just change the color and turn the power off up here. Uh, but you get a couple of these little tool things that you can utilize, you know, for wood size. Here's how I normally do it. Uh, decide whatever piece of wood I've got, or that I've got ordered in this case, and I can put stuff in here and do up a, a large cut all at one time another thing i'm just trying experimenting with i've got different colors in here black and gray and if you look up here i've got cut first cut second it should cut down the line in other words it should go in and cut all the black first and then come through and cut the gray. And you saw in the opening of this video, it did cut everything out. And I kind of watched it, and yeah, it did that. It went through and cut the center stuff, because I had it set in this first layer. Same power and speed as this layer. But it did all this little interior stuff first, and then it come back and cut the outside part. And so, yeah, that seems to kind of work. So I don't know what kind of laser you've got set up but uh if you don't have like that little honeycomb grill thing which man those are things are expensive uh if you're having to just prop it up or something you don't want parts of this to drop right and there's several ways to do that uh cut the centers out first it's okay if that drops and then cut the other part you don't want any one piece dropping out and messing something up. Now, there's something else that was in the plans, and I thought I had them all taken out of here. But apparently I didn't. And I'm not finding them on here. Okay, so let's look at this piece, for example. Uh, he left out these little spots here, and all that does is leave it in the wood nothing can fall out see the little spot there 
Now I went, I thought I did, went and took them all out of this piece. You know, basically just took, drew a line across there. Uh, so it would go ahead and cut. You can see that one, I think, if I can hit it just right. Yeah. Where I took and drew a line across there. And then Control D will back that back out again. We'll undo your latest screw up. And so, because mine sits on a honeycomb thing, I really don't have to worry about anything falling out of there. Uh, but if I leave those little pieces in there, especially in this plywood, then I've got to get after it with an exacto knife to get it out of there. And well, you should know by now, I don't like that much. So, okay, several things uh, I need to look at. Here's something I thought was interesting. I just copied this over to here. But look at here, how he's got the color changed on this part. And so we already know that if we don't put any power to that color, select that, apparently it's that purple, number 25. If we cut the power off, it won't cut that. So, he's got this set where you can do three different sections. But if you're going to do it like this, you're going to want to go in and change that color or apply power to those colors so that it actually cuts that part out. But if you've got a little bigger framework, let's see if I can do this live. You could take this piece. I just want to select that. Okay, that's all selected. I could go ahead and group it so that it will not come apart on me. And slide that in there. And you want to get it just right. Snap it right into what's already there. Okay. Now, both of those are purple through there, so if you have no power on the purple, you're going to end up with one solid piece in your cut. Even though that's showing there, you've got no power to the cut to the purple, pardon me, and all you're cutting is the black part, and so it'll make those two one solid piece. Now, if I had an even bigger laser, I would put all that together, but I found that i uh, probably going to end up having to split this right about here. Pull that up. I'm going to use the greater than and less than to turn it 90 degrees. And slide up in there. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to have to do two cuts on the fuselage, even on my 36-inch bed. And so that's something to look at. Uh, he's got some pretty cool stuff. Uh, these, all these individual pieces, you cut them all out, you put them together according to this. This is like a set of plans. And then cover it in some thin sheeting. And you've got a canopy. Now, I'm not sure that's how I'm going to do that, but it's really cool that it's in there for you already. Uh, another thing that he's done that I think is really awesome here is your rib piece. He's already got a crutch on there. Uh, you may want to come in and put a couple of dotted lines so that's easier to, to take off or just be ready with an X-Acto knife to cut straight across there when you're done. But here's the finished version right below it with the sheeting and spars and everything put in it. So that's pretty cool how he's got that set up and even... On this piece, oh, I didn't see that before. Let's uh, put that up there where I can see it more better. Uh, you're going to cut this piece out, and then you're going to run uh, a stick of whatever size that is, and then a triangle on the facing. Uh, but if you look here, you see that spar, that spar goes there that part will be cut off and then on the outside of that 
you're going to run a stick of whatever size that is right there. So it's really cool all the work the guy has put into this. And then I come over here and I change the colors to all this. All this was black. And I was wondering, what's that dude doing? And so I turned it all purple, brought it all out here. Let's make sure I've got it grouped. Okay, it is grouped. This is my doings down here. And I, you know what? He's cheating the sheeting. Where have we heard that before? So, yeah, a lot of advantages on this particular set of plans. I uh, really wished he would have went ahead and drawn out the uh, cowling pieces. But what we'll end up doing is measuring that side. This is up and down here. This is side to side. Start with one. We'll draw a circle. Draw a circle in the middle to cut out an opening. Decide how thick we're going to make it and blah, 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 blah. And then start going down smaller and smaller. I'm going to wait till near the end to do that in case I want to actually hand measure what I've got going on in the nose. So that's that's a good ways down down the line. That and uh, I know some of this says it's interesting stuff that light burn doesn't necessarily pull in, but you can go back to the PDF of the plans and blow this stuff up, scoot it over here, and find your how thick you need. Uh, three millimeters ends up being about eighth inch. Six millimeter is quarter inch. And yeah, here's some quarter inch light ply. Gonna need to be done. If you can't find that or your laser won't cut it or whatever, you can double up on eighth inch, right? Those of us that had to go through fractions and decimal classes. Yuck. Okay, so we're off to a good start. And uh, like I say, I'm gonna put uh, basically highlights on here i'm working on another little project i haven't really announced yet and uh may not for a little while till it gets off its feet a little better uh, but we're going to have plenty of highlights here and you've seen the other videos the beginner videos won't be doing anything much different in this build you may want to go back to some other videos like uh, doing a jig in Lightburn because I will probably take these tail sections out and uh, while I'm cutting my sticks, I'll use that jig idea with the laser. So you may want to check that video out too. And uh, basically, we're just going to try to uh, knock this thing out at least the framework as quickly as possible as it's going to take a forest of lumber and enough covering to re-wallpaper my bedroom uh, this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy process but we'll go on and do other stuff on the channel uh, while posting highlights about this anyway thanks for watching guys i appreciate that we're over 200 subscribers and wish I could shake everybody's hand. That'd be awesome. Thank you for watching the videos and subscribing and the likes and the comments. It's all been really great. I appreciate that. Let's uh, go back to building.